If you didn't know in the 3.0 update, there was a new monkey knowledge, and it was called There Can Only Be One. And the description for what it does is, uh, there can only be one. Typical Ninja Kiwi description, of course. So like the community, the TD6 community as a whole, banded together to find out what exactly this knowledge does, and well, recently somebody found out. And the result is something that's been in TD5, and is now back in this game, and it's called the Vengeful Monkey Temple. So we're gonna get that right now in this game save. As you see right now, we are on Cornfield Round 92 with a million bucks. Should be more than enough money to uh, see exactly what this new MK does. Let me just sell everything first. Yeah, we have about 1.27 million. Definitely more than enough to use this. So, in case you don't know, most of you probably know by now, but... If you don't know about the Vengeful Temple, this is how you get it. Took a lot of trial and error, I'm pretty sure, from the entire community. But I'm gonna start off with this. Super Monkey in the middle here. First, we have to get a max temple. Or at least the max tier 4 temple, so let's do that. So if you don't know how to get a tier 4 max temple, let me show you real quick. All you need is 50k of supports. Or just 50k of any of the three categories. I'm just gonna choose supports, uh... Military and primary, because I think those are the best three. I don't think it matters what kind of temple you get, or what kind of max temple you get, because you know there's different types of max temples. I don't think they make a difference, so I'm going to do this. Uh, that was a little bit overboard for the boomer. A little bit expensive, but that's fine. So first, let's get this. Tier 4 max temple. There we go. Now we need 50k of every single category. And I know some people are saying, uh, get magic! and not support, or whatever category you want. I would like to disagree. If you just do trial and error, like, test the max temples, the different types of max temples, you will see that magic is on on average generally worse than all the other ones. I mean, you have to try, you can try for yourself. I've tried it for myself already, and I can see why a lot of people skip the magic. Support is really OP, guys. Although not in this situation, because the Vengeful Temple is... You'll see is a lot stronger than the main temple, but... Support on general in general is really good for all the other... Uh, or towers in its range. Okay, that's 50k of each type. Here's how you get the Vengeful Temple. What you're supposed to do is first get a Max Temple, of course. And then... Get the Tier 5 Super Monkeys of the other path. So we're talking Legend of Knights and the anti balloon. However, uh, you'll see, I am short money. I'm short about 130k for this. So clearly I didn't farm hard enough in the early game. Perfect. Now what do I do? Do I cast drop my way to 500k? Probably not. We gotta restart that. Uh, 1.43 mil, yeah that should be enough. If I play this carefully. Sun Temple, alright, now 50k of everything. Well, yeah, as you can see, I kind of messed up. We are now 10k short, but that's fine. I think we can get that in one round, so no worries. Now we got 50k of everything. I'm not sure if you need a max temple to get the Vengeful Temple, but I believe you do. I don't think there's, I don't think there's such thing as a Vengeful Vanilla Temple. I don't think that exists, at least from what... I hear. Alright, end of the round now. We just barely afford it with 4k to spare. So, you'll see when I upgrade this to a true sun god. It will not be a true sun god. Or what should happen is that it should turn into a dark vengeful temple. So, let's see. So, this one is going to skip magic. So, it's going to be a 2 2 1 2 temple. And then later, of course, we can see how much better the other ones are. So, maybe a 2 2 2 1 temple. If you don't know what that means, the notation of 2221. One second though. Because you see right here, our two super monkeys, our tier 5 super monkeys, have been sacrificed to make this, this thing. And that's it. That's the Vengeful Temple. Let's give it extra range, of course, and play the round. Yes, I know we don't have a uh, camo detection. Funnily enough, this temple does not have camo detection unless you get uh, the bottom path. 
But that's okay, that's what villages are for. So we'll get this. And we'll take a look at just how powerful this thing is. From what I've seen so far, this thing is like... Magnitudes in order pow more powerful than the uh, Golden Temple. So it's actually kind of insane that one monkey knowledge can make your tower like that much stronger. Here's uh, how it does versus the bad, not even close. There's our 203 insta monkey for that round 100 win. I've heard that this thing can solo up to round 300 on easy maps. And Cornfield is kind of an easy map now that you've cleared all the corn. I mean, what makes Cornfield hard is the fact that uh, there's corn block in the way. Yeah, also keep in mind this is a 2-2-1-2 two, 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 two tempo. So apparently you guys say it's not as strong as if you got 2 magic in it. And that is correct because, of course, if you get 2 in support, it's not really going to help in this situation because you don't have any other towers in range of here other than the village. Just the plain True Sun God, or the max True Sun God, was only able to solve to like round 150 or round 170 on hard maps but the fact that this guy can get double that round just by one knowledge it's probably the single single most powerful monkey knowledge in the game if you have not gotten that yet then you better grind that shit so that you can unlock what you see right here right now comes with a nice pair of visuals as well like you see the sun avatar purple beams Honestly, we shouldn't call it the Sun Avatar anymore. I don't know, maybe a Vengeful Avatar? Although, I, I see Ninja Kiri has not changed the name, the name of these things yet. Now, I don't know how long I want to go with this, because... From what I've seen, we are probably going to be sitting here for, I don't know... A couple hours, if we're going to wait for it to die. By the way, this is without an Alchemist. Without Gwendolyn. Without any sort of buffs, except for Camo on the Village. And you'll still see that it is not going to be a problem versus any of these balloons. Do you need to get the other two Super Monkeys right away? Yes, yeah, so you have to get them before you upgrade to the True Sun God. So if you upgrade to the 5th tier True Sun God first, and then you get the two Super Monkeys to 5th tier, it does not work. I guess that's how the uh, Monkey Lodge name makes sense. You know, there can only be one, or there can be only one. So, translation, that means there can only be one Tier 5 Super Monkey. You just sacrifice the other two Tier 5s to make your True Sun God into an even better temple. Yeah, it is indeed very sick. Well worth the trade-off in my books. Did somebody figure this out by accident, or did Ninja Kiri tell them? No. Ninja Kiri was very, very secretive about it. Like, when people were asking them, uh, can you give us hints on what it does? Uh, yeah, they, they completely avoided it. They acted like they didn't know, but they definitely they sure well did know what it did, but obviously it didn't tell anybody. Honestly, this just took a bunch of trial and error. I mean, you got how many people in the Bloons community? I'm pretty sure there's at least 100,000 players in this game right now, right? Maybe not right now, but like active players. So that's a lot of people and a lot of options they can try to see if this works or not. So eventually one person came across it just by doing a bunch of random stuff in a real game. No, this does not work in Sandbox. I can try in Sandbox, but it does not work. So that's actually a really good way of also making it uh, secretive, aka hard to find. If it doesn't work in Sandbox, you'd be inclined to believe it doesn't work in a real game as well, but no. This monkey knowledge is pretty, uh, pretty sneaky. It only works in a real game. The Dark Temple is nice, but the only use for it is late game. Yeah, true. In a legit game, you're most likely not going to be able to afford the Vengeful Temple, but I'd say it's really good for super late game attempts, like if you're trying to go for the highest round ever, then obviously what you want to do is get a max Vengeful Temple. Like this guy's going to save you a lot of lag if you do go to super high rounds. Uh, speaking of high rounds, I have actually have not gone back to like trying to get to the highest round ever because Ninja Kiwi has still not fixed late game, so late game is still as easy as it was when the game came out. AKA, you can get to round 1000 pretty easily if you have the patience to wait like 10 million days to get to that point. Alright, we've seen how good the Vengeful Tumble can be up to round 140. Right now, I want to see how good the plain True Sun God is. AKA, we're going to get a max one. We're going to get a 2212 max temple without the Vengeful. 
Okay. So, this is the true sun god. Not a vengeful one. See, we don't have any of those two monkeys. And we're going to get back, of course, that raider scanner. Give this guy a 5-2-0, and we'll see how good he is versus, or compared to, the vengeful temple. We'll see how long this can last for. You can already tell right now it's doing a lot worse. These guys aren't even fortified, and they're getting, like, up to here. I'm pretty sure the vengeful temple for fortifieds only got up to here as well, so... Already you can see a pretty noticeable difference. Okay, I'm probably going to have a lot of people asking this, like... What does 2212 mean when I'm talking about temples? You can actually refer to my video on that. About uh, how to get the max Chusan God. Yes, I have a video on that. A long guide on that. It's been out for quite a while. Yeah, here are fortified uh, ZoomGs. They're getting past like... They're getting halfway. So, you can tell that this guy is not going to last uh, much longer than like 140. If you ask me, maybe like 155, 160. So we got a new way to get to the highest round, theoretically. I'm not sure if anybody has actually gone to a save to round 1000 yet. I'm kind of curious to know that because I've heard people got to like round 800, but I haven't heard about it since. Maybe people just got bored of late game. And it turns out nobody, in the end, nobody cares because it's so easy. Late game is not a test of skill, it's more of a test of... How long can you play TD6 until your uh, phone burns out? You might lose soon with, with this temple, and I'm pretty sure. Look at this round 144 bad. And see how far it's getting. Like, it's approaching almost the last... Last corner over here. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the formula for late game is that... Starting around 80, each round gets 1.7% more health. And it's like exponential. Very, very slow exponential curve, but it's there. So if you want to know how much health uh, round 180 has, uh, the formula is basically health times 1.017 to the exponent 100. Multiplicative, not additive. If it was additive, then holy crap. Round 2000 might have been possible, but it's exponential, but very, very, very slow. Like, honestly, I think the biggest issue with free play is that the balloons don't get any faster. That's the reason why you can get to, like, round 1000. Because the balloons are just as slow as they are on round 80, uh, 100, all those rounds. So, like, I know in BTD5 and BTD Battles, both of those games in free play had, like, balloon speed scaling. So I'm kind of wondering why in this game they decided to get rid of it, I guess. Because honestly, I think it's kind of needed in free play over here. I kind of want free play to be a challenge, not like a test of time to see how long you can uh, survive for. Yeah, it looks like this true sun god is going to let up very, very soon. Seems to be really struggling versus uh, these bads and the fortified UMGs. Not to mention DDTs. So my original guess was about, yeah, round 150, round 160. Somewhere in between. Looks like if anything is going to kill us, it's going to be DDTs. Because one, they're super fast. We don't have any stalling. Again, we don't have alchemists. I just want to see the true sun god and the true sun god only. Because we're here just to see its raw power and nothing else. Oh yeah, we're dead, we're dead. <laughs> Those 4 5 DDTs way too fast. I'm actually going to continue here. So we can see that the... True Sun God makes it to the mid round 150s on this map. We're actually going to sell this, yes. We now have 1.45 million again. We're gonna get back the Vengeful Temple if we can. Yeah, we can get back our Anti Bloon and the Legend of Night now that we sold our Dark Temple. It's just that we can't get these guys uh, when the Dark Vengeful Temple is still up. Okay, this should be enough for a, another max Vengeful Temple again, so let's get it back for round 157, and we'll see how it does this time, because we can see the Sun Temple cannot beat 157, and you'll see these guys get sacrificed, and there we go, back to our Vengeful Temple. So yes, in case you were wondering, you can indeed uh, sell your Vengeful Temple, and then you get it back, so it's not a one-time only thing, 
you can definitely still rebuy it. Yeah, we're back in business, and this shit ain't it, it, it even close. Not even close to making it to the exit now. And again, just for reference, this is a temple without the magic sac sacrifice. It only has one magic sacrifice, so it's a 2-2-1-2 two, two, two temple. So you'll see now that I sacrificed uh, the two fifth gears to the temple, we're not allowed to get a, another anti-bloon. Not allowed to get a Legend of the Knights. But if, if you didn't know, this pop count or damage counter does does cap at a certain amount. And that amount is indeed the 32-bit integer max, which is 2 the spawn of 31 minus 1, aka 2.147 billion. I misread this. I thought we were at I thought we were 2 billion, but we're only at 200 million. Only 200 million damage. This thing sucks. Guys, yeah, don't get this eventual temple. It only does 200 million damage in 200 rounds. That's that's a little bit subpar if you ask me. Very lackluster. Only 200 million. Anyways, here's round 200. The bandit bad, how far does it get to? Well, it got past the first bend, so... Oh, there's two bads this, this round. Okay, hold on. There's two bads this round. Let me do this, actually. Okay, so we saw that the... Super bad got to around here before it died. So for reference, I will drop. Or can I drop road spikes? Yes. So it got to around here. I'm gonna actually gonna use the power. Yes, guys. Just for this, I'm gonna show you how far it got. The bad and its insides got around here for this temple. So I'm gonna sell it. Yes. Legit gonna sell it. And I'm going to get back the vengeful temple. However, this time I'm going to do different sacrifices. So we're actually going to skip support. Because support does not actually help out the main temple as much as other things can. So, for example, another magic. And the camo village to top it off. Let's see if it makes a difference. Although, if you had to ask me, I'm going to assume it's a very, very, very minimal difference. Let's see. Uh, I didn't mess anything up, did I? Because it's doing way worse than before. That's way worse. That was a max temple, yeah. Let me actually exit out and then I'll show you again. Yeah, the one thing is, I know that not all the sun avatars are spawned, but still. I really don't know how strong these things are. You actually might be right, though. Sun avatars actually look like they make a huge difference. Okay, never mind, never mind. Because you're looking right now. Look how far the super bad is going without any sun avatars that spawn at the front. Because you know if you reset the round, the Sun Avatars uh, also get reset, so they don't automatically get spawned. Turns out these Sun Avatars, or the Dark Sun Avatars, are way stronger than I thought. Alright, so if you're going for the strongest Soul Temple, then it looks like 2-2-2-1 is what you want to go for. Why not 2 2 2 Because that does not exist. That's not possible. For the first temple, you're not allowed to get... Uh, Sacrifices in all four. It'll choose three of them for you if you sacrifice all four. So in that case, it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, I think we've seen everything we need to see. Basically, all you need to know is that Ventral Temple is a thousand times better than the normal temple. If you don't have the monkey knowledge for there can only be one, then uh, go get it. Because if you don't get it, this is what you're missing out on. Also, make sure to drop a... Uh, Magic sacrifices, it looks like uh, the Sun Avatars are, or the Dark Avatars are, super broken. 